Welcome to Destination Station, your number one station in the nation. As always, I'm Destin. This is New Release Tuesday. You already, everybody already knows what today is. It's Captain America Civil War Day. Everybody's been waiting for this, uh, including myself. I've been waiting to get my hands on that steel book that Best Buy is offering. And uh, there's another title that I was wanting. There's a lot of titles actually I was wanting to get today. Not a lot that came out, but they had some really good sales today. But I just kind of, I kind of said no and uh, just held off. Um, the main focus was to uh, get my hands on that uh, Captain America Civil War. And uh, this one right here. I know a lot of people's already got their videos up. Um, yeah, uh, this was by far one of the best movies of the year. I thought Batman vs. Superman was gonna take the cake, but then after I saw this movie, I was just like, wow, that was, that was awesome. I loved Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier. It seems like the Cap Captain America, the first one, uh, the first Avenger. It, it was it was good. It was good. It wasn't the best, but it w it was decent. It wasn't the most action packed or or anything like that. It didn't get really good till the Winter Soldier, and then this one just. I like this over the Avengers, uh, especially Age of Ultron. I wasn't that crazy about Age of Ultron. Um, first Avengers and this is probably side by side and the winter soldier and the first iron man those are like my favorite marvel movies um but you know what i would probably watch this one over and over and over the spider-man the new spider-man is in this uh, i'm pretty sure most of you've already seen it um including the um wrapping or unboxing of this it's a uh, i think it's the matte finish um uh, but it's got some embossing right here Right here in the split between the shield and Iron Man's mask. I think that's really sweet. Civil War. This is the stem. Uh, the J card. Take this off. This one does not have as much glue as the last few still books that I've unboxed. That's the back of it with the special features. Um, the collector's edition was about $5 cheaper this week or today um but it all had the same stuff i but you know aka the steelbook junkie so yeah there's the back which is awesome that's that's a big part of the movie and the comic book um never read the comic but uh i'm pretty sure you guys have yeah that's pretty badass I'll open it up that's how it looks yeah, that's pretty that's pretty kick ass right there. Got the digital code in this little wrapper right here. Um, I might give it away. I don't know. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. Just be subscribed, like this video, go back and see some of my other videos if you haven't already. Here's some inside artwork. Oh, that's pretty nice. You know, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if it's Disney or if it's just, you know, the Marvel movies. They don't really put no disc art on it, but, like, they could put a little bit on there. This came with the Blu-ray and the Blu-ray 3D and the digital copy. So, yeah, and that's the Blu-ray 3D. Not much to see. There's the inside. Try to get that glare off of there. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, at least you get to see Ant-Man right there. I know a lot of people were... We're complaining you didn't get to see Ant-Man on a lot of the covers, or he was really small on one of them. Uh, I can't remember which one it was, but yeah, yeah, glad I got my hands on this. I will be watching this today. So uh, also, um, yeah, oh, a lot of people's been asking me about these right here. This is uh, my local theater. Whenever I went and saw the movie, they were get, they had like these uh, special tins for the movie. Um, they were like five bucks or something like that. At least these these ten ones were. But yeah, I liked them. It's got some embossing on it and stuff. And show you guys. Since it's a good time to show you guys. So yep, yeah, that's pretty cool. This one, this one's ten as well. I think there was another one, but I they were all out of it. I tried to get all of them, but yeah. This one's got some embossing too on, on the actual Iron Man. Not on the lettering, but on the Iron Man. I mean, Iron Man, uh, Captain America. What the hell? So, yeah, guys. 
was that one? This one was the most expensive, even though I thought this was going to be tin, but whenever I got it, it's plastic. So, yeah. Yep. Just the same on both sides. But yeah, I put a lot of my J cards and stuff like that. I try to keep them down here nice and neat. Not really too neat, but you know, I kind of, that's how I keep up with them in some, some receipts. And also here's the, here's the cup. Yep. So I just got my hands on that. I think there was another one, but uh, you know, I, I didn't get my hands on it. Also, this is, I'm filming on the Galaxy Note 7, and I know there's a recall on it, and I know these phones are blowing up, so if it blows up during film, I'm sorry. Um, I know that I need to swap my phone out. I haven't, I haven't personally had any problems with my Note 7, so I really don't want to get rid of it because I love this fucking phone. So it's really pissing me off that this is happening, so um, my phone doesn't get hot or anything, so I, I'm hoping for the best. But somebody said that um, on September 30th, they're thinking about cutting off all the Note 7s. That way they're forcing us to trade them in because a lot of people haven't, including myself. That's really going to piss me off because they're forcing you to get a different phone that you don't want. And also, I've already bought a case and accessories for this, the VR headset, and, you know, I just don't... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of unhappy about the whole situation. But uh, anyways, back to the movies. Also, I picked up The Conjuring 2. Certified fresh. This was pretty good. I saw it. Um, not as quite as good as the first one, but still good. Um, okay, let me rephrase that. It's probably just as good as the first one, just not as scary. Because this was very good. This was really just well crafted. And James Wan does a terrific, terrific job on the way he shoots his movies. I like The Conjuring movies a lot better than Insidious. Wasn't ever too crazy about Insidious, to be honest. But uh, the only thing that, um, the only complaint I have about this, digital code, I'll give that away. Just leave a comment below. Um, the only complaint I have is there's no slip cover. See, I think, where is it? I know I had the contract, yeah. Yeah. Damn. See, look at this. Here's the conjuring. It's got the lenticular slip. I like that. But then with the conjuring too, there's no slip. That sucks. That's some baby bag bullshit. But anyways, um, yeah, it's got some special features on there. If you can see that, I'm trying to get the glare off. Yeah, I like this movie a lot. Uh, I felt like the whole nun aspect, it seemed like a little shoehorned in there. Um, and the way the reveal of how they defeat, um, defeat the entity or whatever you want to call it, I felt like it was kind of not well thought out. I thought it was kind of like a weak, a weak, um, not a weak climax because the whole set, the whole scene was awesome. But a weak um, reasoning of and 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 reveal of how they can defeat this this entity this demon. I, I thought I was like, what? Like, well, I I don't know. It just it, it it just seemed like something that was tacked on after they already shot the movie or something. But yeah, there there's it just comes with just the Blu-ray. The next true story from the case files of Ed and Lorraine Warren. Very good. I had to pick those up. That's about, I'll give away the digital code like I said. That's all I picked up today, guys. I just picked up these two. About the only two big releases that came out today. Also, I picked up my last video, Now You See Me Too. I guess I could do this too because I haven't even opened it. But Now You See Me, this will be another video. How about that? Because uh, I said I, I would do another video for this. Um, since it's a still book, they finally got some in at my nearest Best Buy, so I picked it up along with the Jungle Book with the slip cover. I was thinking about holding off. I was thinking about uh, going on what is it called, Zavi or Zavi or whatever, and getting the um, the still book because um, I, I was really hoping a still book for this or even at least a 3D version of it. Um, but hey, 
you know what, I don't know when that's going to come out, and I wanted the movie, and so it was still on sale. They've been keeping it on sale for like, it's like the third week they're keeping it on sale at like 22 or something like that. So I just went ahead and picked it up. But, yep, that's it, guys. That's all I got. How you guys like the, uh, like the tins? Hope you guys like them. Plan on holding on to them. Um, what did you guys think about Captain America Civil War? Leave a comment below. Let me know. And uh, I know it's kind of lame to say, are you Team Cap or Team Iron Man now? Because everybody was talking that, that craziness. But, uh... Yeah, what was your favorite part of this movie? And I know everyone's going to say the airport scene and everything, and that was great. What was your favorite scene? What was your favorite part of this movie besides the airport scene? That's what I want to know because that's all everyone ever talks about is that airport scene. I want to have a different discussion on what other than that airport scene did you like. All right, leave a comment below. Let's start a discussion. Let me know. Subscribe to Destination Station, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and you guys, I'll see you next time. Also, stick around. This weekend, I'm going to try to go see that movie, The New Blair Witch 2016. Um, I want to see that. Be looking out for that movie review. All right, guys. Thanks. Take care.